Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, your favourite soda, the taste you crave, the quencher of your thirst. And it is time for episode 9 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. So we're picking up exactly where we left off, having uh, snuck into the terrifying dead zone, the demon-infested portion of the city encased in a Chernobyl-esque casket of concrete, uh, which contains the apartment that the accused of the crime we're investigating lived in many years ago. Which is extremely sinister and suspicious, and so we're gonna do what we've been doing the entire time, pretty much the thing that brought us to this place in the first place, and uh, investigate. Because um, we can probably learn a lot about the guy from his, his old house. Although I think he was a 10 year old kid when he lived here, so maybe not. But um, yeah, no, we have discovered all of this simply through following our nose and being extremely nosy and uh, relentlessly searching every single... Jesus Christ, the TV's still on? Has this been running secretly for 10 years or is someone living here? Interesting. This must have been his room, maybe? I need a code for this safe. I should talk to Henry about it since it's in his apartment. That makes sense. I'm glad I found that before I went to talk to Henry. <laughs> a chalked out ritual circle. Presumably where Henry conducted the ritual that caused his possession. Chalked symbols, candles and statues of gods. Can't beat the classics when you're conducting an illegal ritual. I love that it's necessary to differentiate between illegal and legal rituals since uh, this entire society runs on hypocrisy and they're all feeding demonic ancient dead gods anyway. The corpse of Rena Division, Henry's mother. He killed her via strangulation. Looks like the corpse was left here when the corruption happened and the area was evacuated. She's been decomposing for ten years, no more evidence here. Well, that's incredibly gross. I thought I would learn more about him. Perhaps we will when we can crack open this safe. Assuming he's willing to give us the, uh, the code. I, I wish there was a zoom. I can't quite read these out. Eyes on Eden. Notebook, notebook, notebook. What's this one? I can't quite read what that says. Hmm. Well, citizen apartments are at least somewhat standardised, so I suppose we shouldn't expect to learn too much. I can hear an item. Oh, it must be an it must be the item in this safe that I can hear. But yeah, hmm. it is it is weird that the TV is still on and has been on for these ten years. That said, uh, it's only fair if I were a corpse lying on the ground forever. I would also want something to keep me entertained during my eternity of my slow senescence as I gently decompose into a small puddle of liquid on the floor. Which uh, is liable to happen in real life too. So, okay, there's a couple more things I wanted to investigate. I keep mistaking this for a dead nebula machine. Which is a mean trick to pull. Right, over here, I think this was the that's the airlock to get out the proper main way. There's at least one secret door hidden a little way underground. So what's in here? This door has a lock coded to Witness and Carmelina's blood vials. Witness has been entering this pretty regularly. Witness last entered two days ago. Carmelina hasn't been in here for years. Interesting. Well, this is cosy. There are crates that look like they could restrain something. This place is full of restraints and operating equipment. The restraints are all blessed. Chains and holy crystals. The only reason you need those is if you're trying to contain something demonic. A demon was being held here. May the sun and goat protect me. This could be big. A hidden demonology bunker has a big secret. I need to find out if this is related to the case before I go knocking on doors. I don't want to rattle anyone unnecessarily. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should have talked to everyone first before I started exploring and rummaging. Because, um, I don't know, I feel like these are revelations I'm supposed to have after I have already met some other people. This must be the demon they were working on. Pretty goofy looking fellow, to be honest. MRI machine? This is used for tomography. I'm guessing it was being used to see what's inside a demon. 
So I guess, I mean, maybe they were just researching on demons. A containment crate. These restraints are covered in holy wards. These could be used to hold a demon. Was someone storing a demon down here? I think this is a chromatograph. I didn't really pay attention in that class. It was when I Isaiah and I had started dating. Happier days. So I guess that means I need to find someone to tell me what a chromatograph does. Although, I mean, it presumably does something to do with colour. What do these symbols mean? Oh! This is atomic theory, but for demons. Are they trying to figure out what demons are made of? Right? Because this is if this is a particle and these are subatomic particles, Right? You split this and you get a waveform and you get subatomic particles and you get a smaller particle. So I guess maybe they were trying to find out what demons are kind of made of, what they are. This is a biological diagram that looks similar to the phospholipid bilayer of the cell. So that's presumably like a more macro scale investigation. Like what are their bodies made of? Do they have cells? Do they have anatomy as we understand it on our human macro scale? These are all three of those diagrams together, and what looks like a sketch of its skull? This is interesting. I'm reminded of the uh, the gag in a Terry Pratchett novel about um, attempting to use uh, kings for instantaneous communication over long distances. What breeze is this? This is a bunker. Where's the, where's the wind coming from? Is there... I would be suspicious that there was a vent hidden behind that, but um, it looks like Lady Love Dies is not. Anyway, the idea was that, like, you know, um, kingship is conferred on the heir at the instant of the death of the previous king, right, in an absolute primogeniture monarchy. Um, therefore, uh, if you kill a king, the heir immediately becomes a king, therefore you could use that to send messages over long distances. I don't know, he told the joke better. <laughs> but um, I, wonder if, I wonder if that's ultimately what this boils down to. I assume this device has something to do with studying demons. This used to be some kind of high-powered microscope. Yeah, interesting. Very suspicious. So, Carmelina has been coming here to study demons- Oh no, Witness has been coming here to study demons very frequently, and Carmelina hasn't been here in years. Actually, I should make sure I can get that correct. Because I... I feel like that should go in, in evidence here, but... Carmeline, witness and Carmeline's blood vials. She said one of them had been in frequently and one of them had not been in here in two years. So I guess maybe it was a project they worked on together and um, one of them decided that they were no longer interested. And the other kept working on it in secret. Yeah, I think that's everything there is to see here. I probably missed one or two items. Although, it's just occurred to me, I could use the uh, mystical ability of focusing very briefly to see if there's anything hidden here. It doesn't look like it. Yeah. Meditation reveals all hidden secrets in that, I guess. I guess this is a different cell. Uh, in, in game design terms, a cell being the, like, um, the chunk of the game world that you're in. Not unlike a level... Oh, hang on, what's that over there? Aha! So there are a couple. Although those might be outside, actually. Yeah, I suppose those are outside. Um, can I, am I allowed to just leave? Or do I need to sneak back out? Probably a good idea to be decontaminated, although what the hell has uh, Sam Daybreak been putting in his whiskey if he hasn't been decontaminating? as he goes. So yeah, I can't unlock this until I have uh, pyramids and... Uh, pyramids and what? Pyramids and cosmos. What do I actually have currently in my nightmare computer? It doesn't say what the baseline is. Maybe there is no baseline. All right, well, um, I'm gonna cut here after I get nice and gently misted by presumably several years out of date decontamination protocol misting fluids and uh let's jump right ahead and we're back so having successfully traversed sam daybreak's secret back door 
something which I'm sure only Lydia previously had knowledge of, winky face. Uh, I find myself with more questions than answers. And in fact, I find myself with only questions and no answers whatsoever. I got my eye on you. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure where to go from here. I think perhaps I should go back to my previous plan and attempt to reach Kayhax's apartment overlooking the cliffs. Let's take a quick look from here. So that's probably where the airlock is. That that itself must be the uh, the sarcophagus then. If that's the dead zone containment feature. I wonder if I can get up top of it and talk to that Shinji. There might not be a way to climb up. Or perhaps there will in fact be a way to climb up. But yeah, I'm a... Uh, Arguably sidetracked here, but, um, you know, all of the members of the Syndicate have their own personal monomanias. We all have our specific sphere of influence, our personal obsessions. And hey, I'm the investigation freak, right? You can't hire the investigation freak to investigate and then get upset when, you know, she freaks, about, freaks out about investigating. Um, I wonder if it'll actually turn out that this is all red herrings across the board and there were actually like seven different plots going on, none of which involved or resulted in the council's murder. I mean, we still don't know that the murder is even actually happened, right? We don't we, we don't, don't have access to the, the, the crime scene. We don't know if they're dead. For all we know, they are fine and merely locked in. But yeah, it's not looking good for the daybreaks currently. It's looking better for Aikiko than I thought it would. Oh look, there's a bridge. Well, now I feel stupid. <laughs> Probably would have been the best way to get up there. But hey, we love to platform, right? What's this down here? Is that the rich people's zone? That's... I need a landmark to orient myself. But okay, that's the Justice Department over there, right? And, uh... This must be the beach, like, at the back of the island? I don't think I've I don't think I've seen or explored any of that space over there. I should probably have a look around when I can eventually get down there. There's, <laughs> not least because there's a dead nebula machine and I must complete my compulsive uh, collectible gathering. I do kind of wish that bird would shut up though. I'm sorry, I know that this is normally a bird respecting channel and that there are many of my beloved viewers who love birds and respect them greatly, but it is extremely squawking. Oh, look, okay, so there's the pillar. So that's my, my exile zone, which is uh, above the paradise gates. So that's, we're looking south currently. And that's the beach. Okay, so that's the normal beach then. This is the beach. Is that a ghost? Okay, we definitely need to go to the beach. There's a lot of lot of stuff to discover in the beach. Uh, not least that's where Lydia is, and I'm starting to think it's going to be very important to have a serious conversation with her about what the fuck is going on. What's the shape of crime, love dies? The shape? Like a metaphor or something. What shape does crime take? Some crimes are a pyramid. Wide at the bottom, but the solution is a narrow point. Some crimes are an inverse pyramid, balancing precariously on a single point with a frighteningly wide conspiracy. You really did have a lot of time up in the Idle Lands, didn't you? I wish I could do that. I wish I could just make cryptic statements to people and then be like, Bye! Uh, right, okay. So there's definitely something interesting all up in here. There's a nightmare computer, but I probably can't access it. This is electronically locked. So I could follow the cable to find the way to open it up, which I've done previously with a few of these. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, beans. All right, well, we're going to cut here again. So what I discovered there is that double jump will gain height, but not alter your momentum uh, or the direction of your momentum, rather, which is kind of frustrating, actually. If you can't redirect in the air manually or through using your double jump, then it's actually a really simple platforming system and less interesting to me. Right, God knows what that did. 
Or if it did anything beyond opening the door, at least. Let's see. Looks like it's just whatever this is. Yeah, Cosmos and Pyramids again. It seems like everything to do with this uses Cosmos and Pyramids, neither of which I currently have. Ooh, a gem. I do need more blood crystals. I should probably have several blood crystals before I go and talk to uh, blood crystal uh, Crimson Acid. Since she says she's going to sell me something, which is not really, really helpful, but uh, she seems like the type I can't talk into things. So, let's see. I think what I'm going to try and do now is see if I can find my way to go and uh, access the uh, lost apartment of the late lamented K-Hax, which I'm pretty sure is up here, up near the temple. And there's no like formal path to get up there that I can easily find. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. So uh, I'll be right back. <gasps> Found a Shinji on the way. Don't you think it's a bit of a flaw? What is allowing a possessed citizen to stay on the island? You people are all about getting rid of demons. It's one of your main things. You never shut up about it. It is a little convenient that a perfect weapon would be left on the island and not eliminated. Good scapegoat as well. You think that's what happened? I really don't care, love dies. I'm just shooting the shit. See you around. Well, I mean, I'd already concluded that he was a convenient scapegoat and that he probably had nothing to do with the actual murder. Although it's also entirely possible that he was, you know, used as a weapon, uh, effectively just pointed at the people they wanted killed. Right, I have, by dint of much effort, made my way back basically to where we started, the uh, center of the city, the uh, administrative hub of the entire region, because I realized that there was one way to get up there, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's the only way to get up there onto the Temple Mountain, which is to uh, go straight past the courthouse and um, head around the back this way. I've uh, seen some pretty interesting things, but I have not picked up any items, so don't worry, you haven't missed anything. Apart from a couple blood crystals, which are all interchangeable and identical, so it doesn't really miss anything. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, I definitely want to probably devote an entire episode just to exploring the citizen... Oh, hey, look, is that... Oh, no, that's the deep factory. That's where we were previously. Yeah. Uh, so, I wonder where the warehouse is, then. I'm getting completely distracted. Also, I can see something interesting in there. That must be the back of the the barracks, right? Anyway, um, let's grab this. Relic Island sequence 20. The mountain collapses. Why? How? It was supposed to be perfect. So I guess island, I guess they're not always like the same design. It looks like it was just an island. Uh, rule number one of playing video games is always look behind waterfalls. Well, shit. The investigator, I presume? Um, I think I'll be shocked. Where did you come from? Where does anyone come from? Who are you? My new name is One Last Kiss. Uh, I'm suspicious. Who's getting the kiss? One who deserves my last kiss? What kind of kiss is it? Is it a kiss of love, tender and sweet, or a kiss of death, dripping with poison and hate? When you look around this island, what do you see? Unknowable secrets, always on the edge of my vision, rarely allowing me to focus on them. This island is a thousand thousand little tragedies waiting to be discovered. I know where one is. When things die, where do they go? Do you think I am dead? If I am, where would I be? You want me to find your resting place? The Syndicate Graveyard? This little game better lead to something. I hope so too, investigator. Weird. So, I mean, I would immediately guess that that's a demon of some kind, but the whole new name thing makes me wonder, is this... Have they, success have they successfully resurrected one of the dead gods and it's taken on a new persona? Uh, or... See, I wouldn't have thought this if not for the demon research stuff that we found hidden underground. Um, maybe 
maybe they're attempting to figure out how to turn people into gods. You know? I mean, doesn't everyone want the ultimate power? But, I suspect, based on not very much, I suspect that um, that is an example of the new content that was added. So, I was going to talk about this at some at some point, and I still haven't, but um, yeah, so a year or two after this game came out, there was a mandatory content patch that added a whole bunch of new story content. This is the sort of thing people are supposed to love and that gamers are supposed to be delighted by, and that honestly, a lot of developers get lambasted for not doing. But I'm actually kind of against it, at least as a mandatory thing. Like, the work of art that this once was is no longer accessible to me. The work of art that I was excited to explore no longer exists, and I have no way of extracting what was original and what it, they have decided to change from that. Um, and even if, and I have no re way of knowing which is the case, even if it's a better work of art with those things added, I wanted to explore the work of art that this was first. So I think that's actually kind of it's kind of bad from an artistic standpoint, but it's also kind of bad from a um, from a conservation standpoint. There was a whole there was a whole thing that no longer exists and is now fundamentally inaccessible. Um, that was kind of ripped away from me without my permission or knowledge or yeah. So I might talk later about why that's so bad, but it does suck and I don't like it. Midori Eyes by Apoc. The woman at the cocktail bar. I remember her. A lifetime ago. Or was it another lifetime? I should have made a different choice. I think all of the tracks we can find are made by that one band. Um, I think there's a gag somewhere about it being yet another of the, the island's uh, mandatory monopolies. Which kind of sucks, because if you're going to be forced to play a game, Monopoly is a bad one. Island the Sequence 13. The shame of Lady Love dies. She is deceived by damned harmony. He tries to get the God Hunters onto the island to kill us. Praise be to the Paradise Trigger for saving us. What's the Paradise Trigger? There's a lot of details about what happened to Island 13 that are kind of glossed over. We know that Lady Love dies was supposed to stop demons getting onto the island and failed. She herself became seduced by a demon. They all came onto the island and terrible things happened. This is not K Hax's apartment. This is the big temple where they slaughter everybody. Um. Hmm. This this seems like it's going to take some effort. So I'm going to come back to the big temple where they slaughter everybody. Although that entity did tell me I should find the syndicate graveyard. So I wonder if that's here. B two. Oh hey, the vapor waviest can. Statue Mind, a fruit juice designed to aid concentration during worship. Offered at a discount price during rituals. There's also something worth saying about how the nature of this island society and the rituals that end it are fundamentally uh, a metaphor for the strictures of capitalism in which we are all stuck. The citizens of this society did not choose to be here. They were They were forced into this place. Um, and they labour for the benefit of a tiny handful of people who, considers them, who consider themselves to be the only real people, if you think about it. And then ultimately their fate is to be slaughtered, again for the benefit of those people. Lucky doll. So many things get dropped during the rush to be sacrificed at the end. Um, anyway, that's not just me reaching, that is an intentional theme, according to the developers, but it's also a very blunt and obvious one. Uh, one that is clear from basically second one of the game. Inverted Pyramid. Every pyramid has an inverted doppelganger on another planet. They are linked. One cannot exist without the other. Yeah, I suppose the divine ecosystem of gods and demons. Which, as far as I can tell, are the same thing, uh, just depending on whether or not you like them. Is, uh, definitely... What is that purple thing? Uh, I'm gonna take a look at that. At some point. But we're pushing up against time again. 
what I really want is to find Khax's apartment. Let's see. So if that's there, I'm looking south. And Khax's apartment is on the uh, western edge of this plateau, which means it should be this way. So, um, I, I, I'll go to hey, Khax's apartment. Next episode, we'll investigate that. And then hopefully we'll come back up here and investigate the temple and whatever that Shinji standing next to a big uh, pink splotch happened to be. Relic obtained. Island sequence 14. Celebration. Our worship reinvigorated one of our beloved rulers. Lost pain awoke from slumber on the dark side of the moon. Okay, so I guess their rituals do occasionally successfully awaken the dark and horrible gods that they worship without necessarily transforming them in the way that the entity we saw claimed to have been transformed. Also, this looks like it's cuneiform. Um, but I wonder if it actually reads... if that text is actually translatable and reads as... as actual text, or if it's just a, a random texture of... Um, cuneiform. It might be sampled, actually, from a historical artifact or other, you know... It seems like a lot of effort to go through to try and get it translated and then just find out that it's an exact one-for-one -one copy of the Code of Hammurabi or something. Um, right. This path, I'm going to assume, is going to lead us to where we're trying to go. Bar travel unlocked. Starlight skins obtained. Symbols of medication. It must be nice being an incessant yacht owner. I mean, actually, now that I think about it, that man absolutely has yacht, yacht guy energy. Um, purple. Is this a blood trail? Drag marks leading off the edge of the cliff. They lead away from Khax's workshop. Suspicious. Yeah, it sure as hell is. Absolutely is suspicious. What's below here? Uh, well, geez, that looks like the outline of a corpse. I guess we'll head down there later. Is that another industrial area? Maybe that's the agricultural plantation. Yeah, that must be the agricultural plantation. Um, Dead Nebula told us about a uh, an upgrade in a warehouse. That's the only other place I can think there would be a warehouse on the island, so we'll explore there as well. But for now, that's going to be all from me for today and tomorrow, which is not actually going to be tomorrow. Next episode, let's say instead, uh, we're going to explore Khax's workshop and hopefully uncover a little bit more about what happened to that poor bastard. So, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.